Hey there, this review is on the sports comedy Here Comes the Boom. So the plot of this movie is this guy named Scott Voss, played by Kevin James, is this biology teacher at this failing school because they're going through lots of budget cuts and lots of financial issues, and specifically it breaks apart a music program. So when, of course, Scott isn't very happy about this because lots of the teachers will lose their jobs. But then one day he watches a UFC fight on TV and he finds out that the loser would earn $10,000. So he sees this as an opportunity because obviously he's not very good at fighting. So he figures it would kind of be a win for him in a way because even if he doesn't win the fight, he could still win the fight in a way and earn enough money to save the school. So he goes to the fight and it, you see him grow as his ability to fight in the UFC. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed this movie. It was actually a a pretty fun film. The I know this is kind of a movie you wouldn't expect me to like cuz like Kevin James is one of those actors like I do generally like him. Like yeah, I know that's you're, some of you might be surprised that Kevin James is actually an actor. I don't mind. Like, no, I actually do like him in a lot. Not everything he does is great, but like, like he's definitely in some bad movies. Like a lot of bad movies. I won't deny that. But I think he's one of those comedians where when he's given good material, he can actually be quite funny and very likable. And this is one of those examples. Like, like that show, The King of Queens, where he got his start. Like that show's actually really funny. I like. I actually think he's really good on that show. And and even like in this, like stuff like usually in most like Happy Madison comedies, like he's usually portrayed as like the fat idiot. But here, you actually he's actually a pretty believable character. He is not. He's not a doofus. He's not portrayed over the top. He's he's just a average average teacher who doesn't really who wants to experience a new thing to say to save a school because he cares about his students so you really do sympathize with him like you actually want him to succeed and that's what i like about it and yeah i mean yeah like you know in the trailer there's that joke where like he tries to shoot a basketball but of course he's too big and he falls over. yeah there's not a lot of fat jokes in this movie so that's at least one thing so they used Kevin James comedic talents for at least so, for the most part some good in this movie. So I give it credit for that. And I I do think he does give a good performance. And this felt like, you know, kind of like a likable, goofy lead. So I think it was kind of the right role for him. Salma Hayek's in the movie who plays uh Kevin James's love interest and she's always great to see. She's a great actress and I can't believe that woman's in her 50s. Like, she's still very hot. Like, and she's she's very talented. And I'm glad she's still getting work. I I haven't seen House of Gucci or The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard yet. I still really need to check those out. So I'll have to see those. And I'm definitely glad she's still going strong with a lot of, you know, big movies nowadays. Henry Winkler's also in the movie. Yep, the Fonz himself. And I do like like doing the movie him and kevin james i think do have good chemistry with each other i actually think they really work well together they're both very funny and it's and it's just a fun movie like it's it's basically nacho libre but set in america and it's about mma fighting instead of luchador wrestling it's yeah, even though the plot's definitely not the most original, but it's still charming in its own right, and it's very entertaining. Like, it's definitely, it's, I think a part of me that appreciates it is that it's a movie that actually shows that Kevin James can do more than just acting like an idiot and a goofball all the time, but, like, he could do a comedy that's kind of like, like this and, like, stuff like Hitch. Like, lots of movies he actually can be quite funny, and he could actually play a very likable character and that's what I like about him like I think it's just a shame that you know lots of directors really don't want to utilize that and I really hope so because I actually do like him as a as a comedian and an actor and I think he should do more movies like this I think you know something you know that's light but still pretty goofy that that shows Kevin James as a likable lead and I really think it's definitely 
a rare kind of film that we get, so I'm pretty grateful if something like this exists. But it's not just the fact that it's a different kind of Kevin James movie. It's the fact that, like, you know, I like sports comedies. Like, even though when it comes to sports movies, I'm kind of more into the biopics, like, you know, like the Remember the Titans or King Richard or Blindside, like those kind of movies. But, like, if it's, like, a, you know, a fictional you know, original screenplay, like, that's totally, uh, that's totally fine, like, I'm definitely good with that, it's, and it does make for a definitely a very fun, charming film, like, it's nothing great, it's not a comedy classic, but it's just a likable, charming movie, and that's all I could ask for, for a Happy Madison movie, like, really, this is probably, like, one of the only Happy Madison movies I actually like, I haven't seen Zookeeper in years, I'm not sure if it's any good, but if it, even if it sucks, like, there's no way it's worse than, like, even their worst movies. But this movie, like, yeah, this is a movie that you probably wouldn't expect me to like, but no, I actually think it's good. It's, I don't love it. That's an overstatement, but I do think it's just likable. That's what I could say about this movie. It's likable. Like, it's very entertaining, and it's... You know, it's very feel-good. It's just something you want if you just want to be entertained and just watch something that was charming. It does have a laugh here and there. It's not, like, a super funny movie, but there's some chuckle-worthy moments here and there, and I, I think it was it's more likable than it is funny. And I think for a Kevin James comedy, that's all I could ask for. And I do think it's a, a very entertaining movie, and I think it's worth a watch if you haven't seen it, so... I think it's a pretty underrated comedy, so yeah, here comes the boom. I totally recommend it if you're just bored one day and want something to watch. I think this is a good one to put on. It's a very likable comedy that I think you'll get entertained by for an hour and a half, so that's my review of Here Comes the Boom. See you later.